Celeste part six. I'm not sure. Well, I died a lot on this game. <laughs> it's been a little while since I recorded one of these. I missed um I missed this game a fair amount. Getting ready for chapter six. So yeah, yeah, my assumption was right. It's December. It's December sixth as I'm recording this. I slept in a lot today. Probably shouldn't have, but you know. Sometimes it just happens. You get a bit of a fucky sleep schedule going. What are our two favorite protagonists up to? <laughs> what? Well, yeah, if there's... Hmm. 
That's a metaphor. will be a long recording. <laughs> My poor hard drive. <laughs> recording! Recording episodes of stuff and things so that I can edit footage. Ooh, we've been here for 40 minutes, haven't done shit. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> Oh, 
Rest of the cutting. Damn it. Hang on. That control's pretty fun. You know, I really should have gone exploring first. Whee! Too high. Oh, hi. What is the button? Oh, it's up. Oh. Wait, why isn't it going up? Go up. No. I'm climbing the mountain. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, man. Can I do directional inputs? No. It's gonna be a water level. talk about stuff. Let's talk about feelings. But I don't, I don't really want to talk about feelings, but, um, yeah. So, it's December 6th. It's like 8 o'clock now. And, I don't know. It, it's been a while since I've done one of these episodes. It's been a while since I've opened and played Celeste. And, it's not because I just suddenly, like, got really burnt out on this game. I do that a lot with video games. I play them until I'm just sick of them. But, no, I wasn't sick of Celeste. I was getting a little tired of editing it, though. I feel like the Celeste uploads on my channel are 
my worst videos. And that doesn't really have much to do with the game itself. It's just because the format I chose to play them is in a Let's Play format. And that was because I wanted to display as much of the game as possible because I really like this game. I think this game is awesome. And I want other people to see it too for how awesome it is. But I feel like they're easy uploads and I feel like I should more often be challenging myself with my content. So then I take on a massive project. Like, um, I know none of, like, random people watching that don't interact with me personally, which, frankly, I'd be surprised if that's any of you, but, um, you will know that a little, like, a couple months ago, I was gonna make this big TF2 montage where every time Eminem in the song Without Me says a word in the song Without Me, I put a kill on the screen. Alright, so for every word in that song, I get a kill. And then I edited the crap out of that for like a couple months. And I got real sick of it. And I stopped working on it. Pretty much forever. And I, I still need to finish it. And I want to finish it. Not because I want to keep working on it, but I want to see it done. And I don't know if that's entirely healthy. You know, the... I don't enjoy working on this, but it needs to get done mentality. But I feel like it's necessary, because otherwise I'm being lazy, and otherwise I'm going on massive streaks where I'm just not uploading. And that is unhealthy for the channel. <clears throat> this channel needs content. It's what people subscribe for, man. You don't just subscribe to say, oh yeah, I'm subbed to Unwelcomed on YouTube. Cause who the fuck is Unwelcomed, man? Nobody watches me. Yet. We'll get there. But it'll be a lot of work. But we'll get there. The thing with getting there, though, as much as I want to, I have to put forth the work for it. And as of right now, I'm not doing that. I was supposed to make a Modern Warfare 3 video. And... That hasn't come out yet, because I got really burnt out on both recording the game and just playing it. That's the same thing. No, both recording the game and editing for that video. I just got sick and tired of it. And that was mainly because I started up a huge project on a just on a whim idea. While I still had the without me video that I wanted to make. How far up can I go? That far. Now, some of you may be saying, oh, yeah, that sounds like it was a horrible idea. Yep. <laughs> Didn't stop me, though. <laughs> oh, I can totally climb this mountain. I do need to finish recording these. I need to finish projects. I have many of them which I have started and not completed, and that's not good for the channel, and I feel like that's not practicing a good work ethic either. I'm gonna be 20 next year. I'll probably be... Uh, I hope I'm not 20 by the time I finish the series, but it could happen. And as a 20-year-old man, grown-ass man, I should be able to start projects and finish them. I feel like that's something I should be able to expect from myself. And as of right now, I'm not really doing a whole lot of that. Burnout will get you. Just gotta see that project through, man. It's not like I'm doing anything crazy. I'm just unmotivated I don't know if I had a solution to my own problems I would have solved them I don't <clears throat> but um I figured I'd record a Celeste video for the for the multiple reasons of well one Celeste video more uploads and I know C's really likes these and also this is a format where I can just kind of sit down and talk for a bit, right? I felt like, you know, I got some stuff to talk about. 
because that Modern Warfare 3 video, that's been bugging me that I haven't finished that. Which, rightfully so, because I should've. I just, like, can't force myself to open that project. I don't know what it is. I just cannot make myself do it. Even when I do open it, I only, like, I record a couple lines for it, and then it goes back to sitting in limbo. Pro content creator, man. I don't mind editing that much, personally. So I don't know what the problem is. My guess is just that it's the video essay formula that I'm just, I don't know, I struggle with. I don't like writing scripts. I know that, but I never liked writing. And I want to I want to blame that on, you know, school making us do it. And writing about shit I don't care about. But sometimes you got to write about shit you don't care about. And it's a good opportunity to practice, you know, committing to work. <coughs> Especially work you don't want to do because sometimes it just has to get done. But instead, all of those years, I just goofed off. I was too rebellious for that shit, man. What else can I talk about? I got my hands on a VR kit pretty recently. And I've been playing a fair amount of VR chat as a result. Because, would you believe it, that game is way more fun when you are in VR. As opposed to just walking around. Because you can be a little bit more expressive. And... Hand gestures go a fair way when you're, you know, talking to people. And just being able to move hands and see other people be animated. It's almost a substitute for going out and actually communicating with people. Which is a thing I miss doing. And I feel like a large part of the reason why I don't anymore isn't even COVID. It's just I've finished high school and I don't really, I don't have a car and I don't really know people. Everybody I knew in high school up and fucking disappeared. Which, you know, partially my fault, but... It's not like I was never making an attempt to reach out to them. Even when I was in high school. I knew high school was gonna end eventually, and I was gonna have a hard time communicating with them. I tried to get everybody on Discord, because I like Discord. It's not Facebook owned. B -b big thing there. And I'm, I've already got all my online friends on there, which is pretty great. But, you know, couldn't really get anybody. <laughs> and now we're here. What are you going to do? There's stuff down here. Okay, so I could go top path or bottom path. I'll go bottom path. I always do the top path. What the hell? This is gonna take focus. No! Here we go. Oh yeah, forgot. Oh, that's gonna be annoying. Woo! It's a pretty long extended flight scene. It's fun though. Don't get me wrong. But this is requiring a lot of focus. It's a hell of a lot harder to commentate over this. But you know. I relish in the challenge shit. But VR chat, yeah, that's what I was talking about. VR chat, right. And then I went on a little bit of a tangent there. VR chat's pretty fun. Uh, just walking around, talking to people. I feel like the game itself isn't great, but the principle behind it is good enough to where it can just carry the game. And that, in my eyes, makes it worth playing. I'm not a stranger to playing bad games. I've played a lot of Toontown over the years. And I genuinely feel like that is an objectively bad game. I love its death, but it isn't good. Oh, hello, bird. What the hell are you doing down here? Okay. 
What the fuck? How? I wanna... I wanna climb the mountain. I wanna climb the mountain. I want to climb the Wait, I can keep talking to you? What's over here? Oh. Wait, can I just go? No. Yeah, she's literally to the right. Yeah, there is. It's pretty shameful. Quit being a pussy. Climb the mountain. I'm gonna climb this mountain. I feel like our conversation's over. I've been I'm bouncing around, around like, like this is my pop mitzvah. I'm just bouncing around, man. Somebody will get that reference. Can't believe I haven't seen any strawberries. I promise I wasn't trying to, like, ignore them. I really was trying to find the strawberries. Just didn't run into them. Oh my god, he's so big. Onward bound. Yeah. <laughs> 
go, nerd. Do me. Ow. Thought I could touch the side of him. Oh, those go through blocks. Oh, shit. Waver a bit. Oh, oops. Yeah. Having it. Whoa! I've had to get up a fair amount during this recording, so maintaining a steady train of thought has been a wee bit difficult, but. I think I'm managing fine. Oh, that's interesting. You can cancel attacks if you just run into her. So, I'm sure if I'm repeating myself too much, I'll catch it in editing. But, yeah. Two things I want to get across. Since I'm playing a lot of VR chat lately, I think it'd be interesting if I could record that and compile like highlights and stuff of interesting stuff that happens because interesting stuff happens from time to time you find some noteworthy folk <laughs> that's a good way of putting that and I feel like some highlight focused content like that would be pretty fun if, if you know there was a viewer base for it and also maybe if I tried doing Twitch streaming again, that could be fun. I did that a while back, but I don't know if I really gave it too fair of a shot. If I died of that a third time, I'm going to be slightly miffed. Wow, that was embarrassing. Yeah, if I... Uh I was mainly thinking about Twitch streaming because I've been playing Borderlands a lot lately. Again, anybody that knows me personally already knew that. I've been playing a f uh, I've been playing that game. <laughs> Not to toot my own my own horn or anything, but I feel like I've gotten pretty good at that game. And, um, I really enjoy playing it. And I was looking at the rules for doing One Life, you know, the permadeath challenge for that game, the official rules, the official, well, the, the official community rules, because Gearbox does not care about that game too much anymore. Or I don't think they do anyway, they might. But considering how cheap the Handsome Collection is, my guess is no. I jumped over it and back into it. Oh my god, I lived! <laughs> I cannot die! Except for all of those times when I've died! Woo! I almost killed myself again there. Oh. I was trying to do the, uh crazy rocket strategy that I use in Half-Life. What the hell is the crazy rocket strategy? Well, when you have to destroy gunships, they can shoot down your rockets, but if you just kind of strafe them around like an insane person, it usually makes it pretty hard for them to track them. But those are also bullets. I didn't think I got her. I was kind of certain there that you just can't get her when you're the leaf fly thing. Still not quite used to it personal shit personally, but I got it. Damn it. Wonder what a one life or, I wonder how doable a permadeath Celestron is. Not just like per level, but through the whole game. 
It would definitely require some expertise that I do not have. And I don't think I'd have the patience for it, frankly. But that sounds like it'd be very entertaining. If nothing else to watch. Let's go. Oh, we're talking again. Yeah, but it's fun. It's fun. I'm having fun. Oh, we're back to attempting murder. I wonder if this game would be any easier on controller than it is on, you know, keyboard. I know. On Super Meat Boy, they like fucking beg you to use a controller whenever you boot up the game. I wonder if there's merit to that. Or how much merit there is to that. I guess I always just assumed it was Edmund being more comfortable with controller. Holy shit. That felt so good. I doubt it looked anywhere near as impressive, but it felt like it was cool. I should have ducked. Let's go. Let's go. I can feel it, baby. Coming to an end. Yay! Oh. Cool hair. Oh, now I have a like, double jump. What the fuck? Whoa! I can't DI during that. But that was cool. It's fun. Hey, is that Theo? Thank you, Theo. You, you threw me. Dick ass. And that's the chapter. 
Oh, and I got an achievement. <laughs> oh, well, that's... <laughs> that's eerie. <laughs> Rack them up. Rack them up. Oh, that's clever. How it views the caves. Did it do that at the start? I don't know. So. I think the next episode is the last. Well, for the main game, anyway. It's the last episode I do out of... obligation. <laughs> well. I'm certainly ready to... play more Celeste. Hopefully... I have another upload out in between this going up and the next episode because that's that that's the idea is because these are so easy to make I need to like have a good project out and then these are kind of like junk food you know you can't just eat junk food but yeah if you uh if you guys want to see more awesome if you guys don't that sucks because I'm finishing the series. And with that said, I will see you all the next time I upload a video. Whenever the hell that is. See ya.